This is a, uh, a work day and it looks like we're gonna be back at it tomorrow. Got quite a bit done as you saw in my time lapse. Nose gear is off and ready to be overhauled. It definitely needs it. Uh, I did find a couple of issues. This NG3 bracket here was loose. This bolt was finger tight, very bad. However, the uh, main pivot smooth bearing in bushing very good shape so i'm happy about that so that doesn't have to be replaced this cover obviously will come off this will get refluxing i'm gonna actually get a new one because this one's actually been kind of worn because where the actuator was coming down was actually contacting it you can see it's worn away there and it's actually kind of sharp so i'm gonna file that down smooth that off round it out a bit and this obviously then needs to get replaced because it's worn from many many years of being contacted the play free play that i found was because this is the wrong size bolt not only was that just finger tight on there uh, that's a quarter inch bolt and the bushing is a that it goes through here is a 1964 so when i get the new replacement brackets here i'll drill them slightly larger use a larger bolt and uh, that will solve that loose play issue I have a new fork assembly arriving, uh, I think in a day or two. So this will all get replaced. This comes off. You can see it's actually already pretty much taken itself off. So this will come off. Uh, we'll reflux this in, reflux on the new one here, and uh, then reapply the cover on here and bond it in properly. And uh, that should be it for the nose gear. Uh, I did extend the nose gear actuator out and I did find that little bent piece up in there and it's a lot better than I was hoping it was gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna have to replace anything. Uh, the, bend, the bent bracket is so minor that uh, I think I can bend that back with no problem at all and that will be fixed. So that's not an issue at all. At the business end of the airplane, uh, I did get this new exhaust in place and it's ready to go. I pulled out the old um, oil breather tube from here. This baffle is still cut out so I used some cardboard aided design to cut out a piece that is going to fit in here. I'll go home and cut some aluminum baffle material to fit that. We'll fit that in there when we get back probably tomorrow. On the other side I cut this out of this baffle here so that the oil tube that was over on the other side is now on this side fits through and then the breather hose is going to go up here and the breather nipple is on the engine here i've got it covered because i don't want to expose the crankcase to the outside air but um, this hose here it has it would have to do a 180 degree bend to get in there and it's too stiff for that so i'm going to put a 45 degree fitting on here and then just run this hose right up onto that and that should fix that So I'll have to source that and that's it for all the work today. It was a beautiful sunny day nice and warm I was actually hot. Uh, I opened up the hanger so that it was uh, nice and dry and sunny inside and tomorrow's supposed to be exactly the same So I'm really looking forward to that getting lots and lots done really uh, happy i was getting down because <laughs> the weather sucked and i kept finding problems but now i've made so much progress today that i'm really quite happy and uh not quite so down anymore so i know i said i wanted to have the airplane done in a month and flying again and i, I thought that was a pretty um uh lofty goal but having seen what i just saw now i think it's it's entirely doable uh, i do have to get to work on that circuitry of the, the uh, relay board and once I get all the parts for the nose gear, I'll get to work on that. Um, I think it's gonna be a hell of a job getting it back up in there, but not looking forward to that. But um, other than that, uh, the airplane is definitely coming along. I do need to get started on the heating duct work, but I have not yet ordered the heating shroud. I talked to the guy that makes them yesterday and described what I needed. He wants a three view drawing from me. So I got to draw up a three view drawing of the shroud that I need designed for this and he'll get to making that. So hopefully that will get happening this week and uh, we can wrap up the heating system on the Cozy. That's it for this update. I hope you like what you saw. I know there wasn't much except for a time lapse, but uh, 
you know, if you just sat here and watched me do this for hours, nobody would watch. It would be boring. So, oh, and of course, we have a propeller over there that uh, needs to get installed yet, but I'm leaving that for the last. Okay, if you like what you saw, please click like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know, it helps me out when you when you do subscribe to the channel, so I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.